something a bit different today. I've never looked at a watch before, so this is going to be interesting. And this watch was sent over to me by Ashley, and Ashley says, Hi there, Dave, Steve. Interesting you put Dave first there. Very deliberate. Thought this might be worth a stab. A genuine 70s digital watch that doesn't work anymore. There is a circuit board inside and I put a couple of new batteries in. The two buttons should display date and time and press. They show nothing. The recess button should let you adjust the time. I have a feeling this is non-recoverable, but I thought it was a change of scenery from your usual console type fixes. Thank you very much, Ashley. He did send this to me quite some time ago and I haven't really got round to it until now. And like I say, I've never worked on anything like this before, so I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I presume we need to open this up first. Now, because this isn't going to take me very long, I don't think I'm going to be able to do my infamous wrap in this video. So, I think I might have to do it at the end. Would that be alright? Well, that was easy. Mm. What have we got in here? Okay, some kind of rubber gasket. I suppose I better go and look for some batteries. Right, I got these out of a game and watch. LR44 and they look about right. Yeah, I think they might be right. So positive is that way. And negative. Okay. All right, let's put the back back on and see if it works. That would be a quite an easy fix, wouldn't it? Well there's nothing on it at the moment. So you said you pressed the button, you show date and time. Yeah, that one's doing nothing. And that one's doing nothing. Right, yeah, so it's completely dead. Oh! Do you see that? That happened when I held both of them together. Oh, it's not doing it now. Oh, well, that was interesting. So there is a sign of life there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. I mean, it doesn't look dirty or anything. It doesn't look corroded. I'm guessing Ashley has already cleaned this up because those contacts look lovely and clean. So what could it be? How does that come out of there? Just like that. Cool. Yeah, let's get this under the microscope. Oh, I like this. Right, so I presume that's the main brains there. We've got Mostec MK5030E Assembled Malaysia 7540G. Interesting. And we've got a couple of little components here. I don't know what they are. Capacitor. I mean, this is 1970s, this, isn't it? So this is, this is retro. I like it. What are these? We've got four little transistory type things. Looks like they say AC. And then we've got the LED display here, which is lovely, isn't it? Right, well, I mean, looking at this, I expected to find, you know, corrosion or... There's a little speck of blue there. Hmm, so look on the other side. So what have we got there? A little bit of blue on there as well, isn't there? A little bit of blue there. And there, and there. And then we've got a crystal. Is that Motorola? Looks like the Motorola symbol. Okay. Uh, does this plastic bit come off? Yes, it does. Right. Oh, ah. Okay. What's, what's going on there? Is that supposed to be solder? So have we got like, is this like a potentiometer type thing? It looks it, doesn't it? But I don't know how you would adjust that. I guess that's for timing from the crystal. Mm. But yeah, that does not look good, does it? But that doesn't look and feel like solder. It's almost like sort of carbon or something. Oh, we've got a bit more greeny blue here. And here, and a little bit there. Right, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is give it a good clean. And then I need to look at this to see um, whether that is getting through there. I'm going to guess that it's not. Oh, I don't know. Is the solder underneath there? Right, let's give it a clean. And to clean it, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol.
Right, it's much cleaner now. This just still looks odd up here, doesn't it? So let me see if I can work this out. Let me get my multimeter. Okay, so we've got multimeter in just an ohms for now. So yeah, direct short there. What is going through to there? And then to the other side, we've got 2.4 mega ohms in climbing. But that could be because, is, is this a potentiometer? I'm not entirely sure. So to the other side, yeah, we've got the, like the three mega ohms. Um, I don't know. Let's see if it goes from here to this via. Sorry, via. Yeah, 0 0.1 ohms. Could it be the crystal, maybe? The fact that it came to life, albeit very briefly, and with, I think it was just the colon in the middle, would lead me to believe that, well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's another one where I don't know. Surprise, surprise. Do you know what? I'm going to put it back together now and just give it a test now. I've given it a really good clean. Let's see if it's doing anything, anything more, anything different. It's doing something more, it's got zeros on it now, but it's not staying on, it's kind of flickering. Try this one. Yes! Look at that! Are they seconds? Why is it flickering? But I th those are seconds! I don't even know if you can see that on the thing, hopefully you can. Right. I think it's working. I just think we've got still a bad connection somewhere. Maybe I just need to reflow solder. And I mean, I've given it a good clean, haven't I? I mean, yeah, maybe I just need to reflow the solder joints. I think I'm just going to focus my efforts here for now. Because that it was odd, wasn't it? The way it was just sort of crumbling. Let's get the soldering iron on that and see what happens. <laughs> no, it's not melting. It's not melting at 450 degrees. What is that stuff? Hmm. Oh, looking at that, we do still have a bit of corrosion in there, don't we? Sort of sandwiched in between it. Maybe it's not that. Let me check on continuity. See if we get a solid beep from there to there. That's a solid beep. And from there to there. Again, that's a solid beep. I don't think it's that. I wonder whether it's more likely to be the buttons then. So let's have a look at the buttons inside here. So what do they do? It's just, I mean, there's a bit of corrosion around that. Uh, does that have to, yeah, what does that do? Does that like complete the circuit or something? Maybe that just needs a clean. Didn't think of that, but I would have thought it just pushed on the contacts, but. going to make any difference. So yeah, you push it in and it... I don't know. don't know how they work. Right, I've been messing around with these switches to try and understand how they work. Someone online is saying that some kind of reed switch, but I, I can't get, you know, I'm putting a magnet next to it and I don't really know how to measure it. So if we go to the body of the watch here and go to there, there's no connection. So consequently, there's no connection here, which is where it would meet the chip. But if I leave those on there, if I leave my probes there and then press the button, there we go. So 
So that completes a connection. So I'm wondering whether it pulls this down to ground when you push the button. So that button, as far as I can tell now, is working. But what I am going to do is just give them all another good clean because I suspect that's what the problem is. Because if you look inside, we've still got some remnants of blue where it's difficult to get to. Not so much that one, but definitely inside there. There we go, you can see it there. So I'm just going to give everything, I'm going to give it a scrape and a clean. I think, yeah, you can see it there. That's very clear. Let's do this. same on all the others. Right, those are much cleaner now. I'm going to pop this back together again and let's see if that has now fixed this. Let's do it. He's not doing anything now. Oh no. I made it worse. Oh, thought I might have put the batteries in the wrong way, but no, I've not. Oh. <laughs> what have I done? Back to the drawing board. I wonder whether I've done some damage with all my poking around there. Right, I think I know what it was. The crystal oscillator, or whatever it is, was pushed right against the board and it was actually shorting out. Let's see if I can show you. So it was here and it was pushed against the board. It was shorting out with this track here and these tracks are exposed. So they're not, they've got no silk screen on or anything. So it was presumably dragging it down or doing something it wasn't supposed to do. Uh, so yep, so I've raised that back up and let's see if it works now. I mean it might not be that but It was definitely connected to the chassis so I'm guessing that is ground and I don't know All right, here goes Come on <laughs> and yes, and it's staying on. All right, so my understanding is that in order to look at the time, you do have to press this button because these just drain the batteries ridiculously. Wow, look at that. So cool. Right, well, let's see if I can set the time. In fact, let me try and get a pin for this. I must have one somewhere. I bought a watch toolkit thing ages ago. Never used it because I've never looked at a watch before. I mean, I don't know if these are like a universal size or are they all different? I don't know. They look different. Let's try this one. There we go. Nice. Right. Let's try it on for size. It's like it was made for me. How cool is that? <laughs> yes. Right, let's see if I can set the time. 
Nice. There we go. 153. Let's see if it keeps time. I'll come back in 10 minutes. Right, it's 5 past 2. Let's see if it's keeping good time. Yes, it is. I hope that's coming across nicely on the camera. Because it's really vibrant and it looks lovely. It's not at all stupid. I love it. Start it up. Yo, why you gotta do this at the end? You know that no one's gonna watch, but let's pretend. Everyone's still here, everyone attend. We got to the patrons for being a friend. We got Ben Rush Flux, Michael Bingham. Frederick Scarrett Hudson as Newton RVE. Roger Baloki, Kit Pakes as Finnicky. Kills which 6 6 9 Bailey Kenneth Mark of its 90B, Money Jam Rag. Elmo's Fines, Jonathan Hodden in the bag. Not a fuck is fine, in film, get the money. A1 base to the sky, do dinosaurs on his team. Cooey, Jingus, John, Bushy, Gastry, Woodwalker, Tangle, Burrow, Jonathan Wiggs, Adam Taylor. Lee Gree, Badger Squatch, Sarah Cat, Nick Adams, John Muller. Where you at? Give Keys a chance, that's a Princess Wizard. Stop a fuel, Fluke is written. Delivered, making virtual gaming in our miss, yo. I'm forgetting the main man, Monkey Joe Tokyo.